Hi, here's Marc Dubois from Howard Tech. I am presenting here the first video of a series demonstrating the implementation of a simple LabVIEW application to interface with the Microsoft HoloLens using the Haro 3D Library version 2.0. The present video focuses on connection events. The Haro 3D Library version 2.0 is compatible with LabVIEW 2015 and later, 32 bits or 64 bit. For this demonstration, I'm going to use LabVIEW 2016, 32 bit. So I'm going to start with a blank VI. For this demonstration, I'm going to create a simple user interface, a simple LED that's going to indicate if the HoloLens is connected or not. I'm also going to add a stop button to stop the VI and also stop the communication with the HoloLens. And finally, I'm going to add a 3D feature control. The 3D objects that are going to be uploaded in the HoloLens can also be seen in a LabVIEW 3D picture control. This 3D picture control is not absolutely necessary, but it can be useful to see the 3D objects in both spaces simultaneously. Now let's have a look at the block diagram. The Harold TD library version 2.0 was installed using a VIPM. So there is a palette that is available in the add-on sub palette. So going to Arrowtech, Arrow 3D, to this uh, sub palette HoloLens to uh, use the open VI. This VI is going to establish a communication with the HoloLens. However, when you put this VI in a new VI, that is that the run arrow is broken. It seems to be some kind of bug when you use events uh, with classes. There is some kind of problem with the linking. This can be easily solved. First, if you click on the run arrow, it shows that there is an error, but it doesn't give any information about the error. This problem can be solved by creating a project. So I go to File, Create Project, a blank project, and I'm going to add the current VI to this blank project. Now I'll go back to the block diagram, and where I have here the output HoloLens events, I right click and create constant. If you look here now, the VI is repaired. At this point, the VI can be saved. It's not necessary to use a project anymore, but this is usually considered a good practice to use a project, so we're going to keep it. The events are used to communicate data between the HoloLens and the LabVIEW application. I need to uh, register for events and using quick drop here, I'm going to drop in the register for events and I'm going to connect my events like this. Now I'm going to create the main loop of my application. And in this while loop, I'll have a event structure. Since I'm using uh, user events, I need to uh, add a dynamic event terminal. So once I have connected my uh, registered events, I'm going to add a event case. Now, if I look here at the in the dynamic section here, I have HoloLens events, I have connection, and then a data user event. The connection event is an event that is generated when the HoloLens connect or disconnect. The data event is all the other types of data com coming from the HoloLens. And we're going to talk about the data user event later in a later video. But right now we're going to focus on the connection. So the data associated with the uh, connection event is a, a Boolean true for when the connection is established and false when the HoloLens is connect. So I'm going to add a case structure. My case structure here, I have a case true, which is when the HoloLens connects and a case false when the, the HoloLens is connect. So here I'm going to put the code I want to execute when the HoloLens connect. And for the false case, it's going to be the code when the HoloLens is connect. So the first thing I want to do is when I connect when the HoloLens connect, I want to change the status of my LED. So I'm going to make it true. The HoloLens user needs to be told that the connection has been established. So we're going to use a um, VI that's going to display a dialogue. 
So I go to the HoloLens sub palette, commands, and then user interface. I'm going to select display info. So this VI is going to display a dialog with text where I'm going to tell that connection has been established. So here I go to the text to display, right click, create constant, and I'm going to type lab view application is connected. But just in case that the user is distracted or something, I will also add a voice output with the same information. So I'm going to row 3D, HoloLens, commands, user interface, and then I select voice output. Connect my air in, and I just select here. So there will be a dialog showing live view application is connected and then also a voice output with the same text. And for my display VI, I have to create a constant true for one button, false for two buttons. And here I only need one button because I don't want any feedback from the user in this particular case. And another thing I need to do when the HoloLens Connect is to position the camera of the 3D picture control because I want the camera to be in a similar position and orientation than the HoloLens in the HoloLens space. By default, the HoloLens, when it starts, it's looking in the Z direction and it is at position 000. So I need to put the camera in the similar orientation and position. Yeah, I'm going to move my 3D picture control terminal. Here I'm going to create a invoke node with the setup camera. So the camera position, I'm going to create a constant, 0, 0 is target. It's going to look into the Z direction. So I'm just going to make it 0, 0, 1. And then the up direction, simply going to be uh, the, the Z, Y direction. So zero one zero. So this is the code I want to be executed when the HoloLens connect. But now I have to create a code when the HoloLens disconnect. And the only thing I want to do in this case is I want to first have an indication on the LED that the HoloLens is not connected anymore. And also the only other action is I want to terminate the VI constant here that I'm going to connect to my conditional terminal. I'm going to finish the full execution when the VI terminates. Do I need to unregister my events? The closed HoloLens VI is going to terminate the communication with the HoloLens if it's not terminated. It is already been terminated. It's going to simply releasing the resources. Then I'm going to add a simple error handler to report an error that might have occurred. Here I just need to add a constant. And the only thing remaining for this uh, video is to create a uh, event case if the LabVIEW user terminates the application by clicking the stop. So just for completeness, if we ever have an error, we also want to terminate the application. The application should be complete and can be tested. So I'm going just to save it for the now. So I'm saving the project and the VI. And now we can test the application. Now the application is started, but the, uh, we need to also start the application on the HoloLens to be able to have a connection. Here I'm going to use the HoloLens emulator uh, that's going to run the same computer rather than using the actual HoloLens. Behavior should be the same and it's going to be easier um, for this, this particular case. So I'm switching to the HoloLens, simulating the, uh, the Bloom gesture to open uh, the main window, selecting here and I have the Harrow 3D application that I installed previously. The Harrow 3D application running on the HoloLens uh, should be available from the Microsoft Store. So the application will start with a splash screen, uh, an Harrow 3D splash screen, and here I have the option of to click on OK to close the window or on the settings, network settings, to be able to communicate with the LabVIEW application. When the Arrow 3D application has been installed the first time, it's going to go to settings no matter what. So you can click anywhere in the window and it's going to open the uh, uh, server setting uh, dialog. So the server setting dialog shows, uh, ask for the server IP address, which is the IP address of the computer running the LabVIEW application. And then there is a server output port and a server input port values. Those values should be left alone unless there is a problem with the LabVIEW application that cannot use those values. 
in which case they would need to be changed in the lab view application and it's in this dialog. So uh, I just need to click in the field of the uh, server IP address, it turns black, and now I have to enter the IP address of my server computer. Lab view application is connected. So here, as soon as I terminate to the settings uh, for the IP address, the LFV application connected. Yes. So I got the dialog and the voice output. So now I click OK, close it, and I go back to my um, LabVIEW application. Now I can see that the HoloLens is connected to my LabVIEW application. Going back to my HoloLens emulator. I simulate the Bloom gesture again, which terminates the application. And if I go back here, I can see that my LabVIEW application has terminated and the HoloLens LED is turned off. So that's it for the moment. And in the next video, we'll see how we can manage the HoloLens events to transfer data from the HoloLens to the LabVIEW application. Please contact us or leave comments about your question or feedback. New videos are coming soon. Thank you for watching.